Hi students, the next is uh, physical properties. In the physical properties, uh, first point is uh, all these uh, alcohols are uh, liquids. And here, first point if you are taking solubility. Solubility when we are taking the alcohols are uh, highly soluble. They are highly soluble in water due to the formation of due to the formation of hydrogen bond due to the formation of hydrogen bond intermolecular hydrogen bond is formed with water molecules suppose we are taking C2H5OH and here it is a H2O and another molecule if you are taking also we can write here uh, this oxygen and hydrogen are having intermolecular hydrogen bonds and another molecule also you can write C2H5OH and here this molecule C2H5OH here also there is intermolecular hydrogen bonds so because of this intermolecular hydrogen bonding alcohols are highly soluble in water at any proportion but with increase of increase of uh, carbon atoms when carbon atoms increases solubility decreases the solubility decreases because hydrophobic part uh, increases which is a uh, repelling the water molecule and so intermolecular hydrogen bonds also decreases so solubility decreases so first three compounds first three alcohols are mostly soluble methyl alcohol ethyl alcohol propyl alcohol the remaining alcohol solubility is less and solubility decreases with the increase of carbon atoms number and uh, next point Boiling points. Here, if boiling points of these compounds are taken, the boiling points of alcohols uh, directly proportional to the number of uh, carbon atoms. The first thing, and this is a uh, inversely proportional to the branching. Inversely proportional to the branching. Moreover, it is uh, directly proportional to the hydrogen bonding. Directly proportional to the hydrogen bonding. Whenever carbon atoms number increases, molecular weight increases, so boiling points increases. But with same carbon atom number, when branching increases, means for example, CH3, CH2, 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 CH2OH it is an butyl alcohol and next uh, CH3 CH and this is CH3 and this is CH2OH it is isobutyl alcohol and uh, CH3C CH3 CH3OH that is a tertiary butyl alcohol so n butyl alcohol isobutyl alcohol tertiary butyl alcohol when we are taking n butyl alcohol has more boiling point than isobutyl it is more than tertiary butyl because of symmetric arrangement uh, that is having a less close packing and so boiling points decreases okay and uh, number of carbon atoms increases methyl to ethyl ethyl to propyl propyl like uh, butyl the carbon atom number if increases boiling point values increases whenever hydrogen bonding is more means if you compare the alcohols and alkyl halides alkyl halides and uh, alkanes or any hydrocarbons 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 aldehydes aldehydes k 
ketones and all these compounds are taken alcohols are having more boiling point values they are having higher boiling point values than any other compounds why these are having higher boiling points than these compounds means due to the hydrogen bonding due to the formation of a strong hydrogen bonding alcohols are having higher boiling points than any other compounds which are having less hydrogen bonding or weak type of bonds alkyl halides are having only polar molecule and hydrocarbons so weak weak van der waals attractive forces present aldehydes ketones are having dipole dipole attractions so we will discuss about that later okay so alcohols are having higher boiling points than any other compounds of this due to the strong hydrogen bonds formed by alcohols chemical properties of alcohols in this uh, first uh, alcohols are uh, undergoing to mainly three types of reactions mainly two types and third type is also there here first one is reactions due to oh bond dissociation oh bond dissociation here reactions due to oh bond dissociation and second one is reactions due to co bond dissociation co bond dissociation reactions here and the third type is a uh, other reactions which participate only alkyl group okay we will see later or complete molecule that is third type of reaction reactions involving complete molecule okay here wa- what is this uh, reactions of uh, co and oh bond or ch2 oh if you are taking this is an alcohol and in this alcohol here i am writing oh group separately and whenever there is only this oh bond dissociation is occurring means hydrogen is substituted by any other group or hydrogen is only removed then such type of compound such type of reactions are called as reactions due to oh bond dissociation and second type is reactions due to co bond dissociation here it is or ch2 oh and here if it is a this bond dissociation means or ch2 and here oh bond dissociation means in between carbon and oxygen bond dissociation is occurring means oh group is uh, completely replaced so that is a uh, oh bond dissociative bond dissociation reactions so these are the main two types of reactions and this first type of reactions also indicates about the acidic nature about the acidic nature of alcohols acidic nature of alcohols is also indicating this oh bond dissociation reactions okay